In this video, we are going to be watching one of the biggest matches in world football. Either Celtic are going to win and they'll go on and probably win the treble or Rangers will win and they'll go on, win the Scottish Cup again, retain it and save their season. We're inside Hampden Park right now, but where are all the people? Oh, it's kind of eerie being inside Hampden right now, the only one. There's a few workers obviously here and there, but just got free reign of the place right now. But it's because um, it's such a big game, there's so much media build up to it. We are at the Via Play Media Day a few days before the final. Um, should be a few big names here today, so hopefully we can get um, a few opinions and uh, yeah, some good content prior to the actual match day itself. Martin O'Neill turning up, get a selfie with a taxi driver. I'd like to introduce two treble winning old firm managers, Alan McLeish and Martin O'Neill, who have very kindly come along today to give their thoughts on Sunday's match. Again. Obviously, Celtic have the upper hand at the moment. Um, victories don't give you that, um, give you that confidence, give you that. Uh, I suppose self-belief, if not that Celtic have doubted that there for quite some considerable time. Um, I think Rangers have some decent players, but just uh, the big moments, they just they, uh, seem to falter. How important is it for Michael Beale for a number of reasons to not have a trophyless season this <coughs> season? Well, I know what it feels like. Um, so. I know that Michael, if it doesn't happen, he'll be extremely disappointed. Um, as uh, you, you know, we're at a club that, when you're at Rangers, when you're at Celtic, you're, you're in a club that have to win every single week. And uh, Michael will be hoping just at losing the Aberdeen game. Uh, and because he'll now know, having what at uh, Ibrox for a few years, um, what the expectations are. So he's, you know, he's, he'll be doing everything he can in his power to get these players to be motivated enough. Well, they'll be motivated, but to win this game and believe that they can win the game. Now, I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to be able to show you. Obviously, I was in there with the press conferences with Martin O'Neill and Alex McLeish, a Celtic legend and a Rangers legend, in the lead up to the massive semi final that is on Sunday. It's currently Thursday, so a huge thank you to Viaplay for inviting me down for today and for the game on Sunday as well. Um, yeah, again, I'm not sure how much I'm going to show you because the interviews went on for about half an hour each. This is a YouTube video, it needs to be short, sharp, and snappy. It's currently Thursday, the game is on Sunday, so I shall see you in three, two, one. It is Sunday. It is match day. Celtic versus Rangers in the Scottish Cup semi-final here at Hampden Park. I've always had some great games at Hampden. I think this is my 10th match here. I think I just checked in on um, the ground hopping up. Yeah, 10 games here at Hampden Park now. So um, yeah, and it couldn't get much bigger than this really. Um, and I just want to say before we uh, chat to a few fans and start interviewing people and get inside the ground, massive thanks again to Viaplay for sorting out um, again the press conference day and uh, access for today as well. Um, I said this at the League Cup final as well, but yeah, do check out their YouTube channel for the official highlights. These videos are never meant to be, um, you know, replacements for official highlights. I'm all about the atmosphere, the fans. I'm trying to interview who I can, and I'm just showing you sort of like the atmosphere of the day. So do go and check out their YouTube channel. I'll link it below um, so you can see the um, the highlights uh, after the game when they come out. So um, yeah, it's a huge game today, isn't it, for both clubs? Either Celtic, like I mentioned earlier in this video and a few days ago, 
are going to win today and um, potentially win the treble. They've got to play Inverness, Caledonian Thistle, who beat Falkirk here in the other semi-final yesterday. And yeah, Rangers, they've got to save their season with a win today and then go on and potentially win the cup themselves. Not writing off Inverness, Cali Thistle completely, but they are a division below both of these two um, behemoths of clubs. So uh, I think Michael Beale also needs to beat Celtic. He hasn't beaten them yet um, since he's been the manager. And I think this might be my fifth old firm derby. Um, and I still don't think I've seen a win for Rangers. I think it has been either draws or a Celtic win. And I don't think Rangers have beaten Celtic since the cup semi-final last year. So they're in desperate need for it. Celtic are going for the treble. Big day for Rangers today, isn't it? Obviously, Michael Beale hasn't beaten Celtic yet, but what would it mean going into next season for him to get one over on Celtic before that? That's it, isn't it? You know, he's just got to try and, try and, try and break, that, uh, break that bad run of, run of form just now. Um, yeah. I mean, t today defines our season to for, for some silverware. I know we've still to play them at Ibrox, but it's, got, it's a bit of a meaning, meaningless game then. But today is, I mean, we want to semi finals, Hamden Park. I mean, we want to win. Yeah. And uh, we want Michael Beale to get a win under in his belt. And we just we want the players to come out and play for the jersey. But a grit and determination. Yeah. Do you, you think, think they've I mean? been lacking that in recent weeks? A bit De of like fight in the definitely. team? Definitely. I mean, apart from like Tavernier, McGregor, do you know, I mean, a lot of the players are not showing up. Yeah. And that's what we need. We need them to show up. We need to, we need to play to win today. Of course. You know what I mean? So, I understand, yeah. And so how good is the atmosphere usually at Hamden Park between these two oh, teams? It doesn't get better than this. 50-50 split, isn't it? It's mental, so good, isn't it? Yeah. Mental. And see when you win, even better. Yeah, of course. Even better. And talking about that, then I'll ask you for a score prediction. Um, score prediction. I'm, I'm going to go 1-0 no Rangers. 2-1 for me. So as you can see behind me here, they're starting to put the um, blockades up in the street. So when Celtic and Rangers do play each other here at Hamden, they always have the same side. And um, I think the media bit where I have to enter is more around the Rangers side. Um, so I think pre-match I'm going to have to chat to Rangers fans. But in there, I think it's more next to the Celtic fans, if I remember rightly. Um, but more sort of around the sort of hospitality press bit is where the Celtic end usually is, I think. You've been on the videos before. Okay. Um, big day today again for Rangers okay. against Celtic. What are you expecting going into it? Wait, yeah, it's a must-win game. Every every old form in every cup is a must-win game, but especially this one, seeing that we've no one out in this season. Celtic won this. It's a treble. Yeah. And obviously, it was we the cup to. that you won last year that sort of saved your season a little bit after um, losing the Europa League final. Do you think you'll do it again this year? I think we'll do it. Yeah. You think you'll do it? Win the cup again? And um, who do you reckon is going to be the difference maker? What player is going to be the difference for Rangers today? I'm not sure. Um, I think Tav. Tav. I think Tav will score too. Callum, good to meet you, mate. Celtic supporter. Yeah. How big is it today for Ange? Obviously, potential treble on the line here. Yeah, very big game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Especially considering that next game will be the final against Inverness. Do you reckon that's a winnable game? Yeah, we'll definitely win that. And so, who's going to be the main player today for Celtic if you're going to win? Kyogo. Kyogo, and what's the score going to be? 3 1. So here we are back inside Hamden. I got my uh, press ticket, my little press pass again. Just want to say thank you for all the support as per usual. Um, it's been a busy weekend. This weekend we had the uh, West of Scotland League Cup final on Friday. We had the Dunfermline game yesterday. And now we're here for the um, biggest game in Scottish football, really, isn't it? Celtic versus Rangers here at Hamden Park. It's a huge one. It feels like... Um, the semi-final this year is almost the final, isn't it? And it was sort of the same last year um, with the sort of derby weekend that was the, the semi-final weekend. It was Hibs and Hearts in one semi-final and Celtic and Rangers in the other. Whoever gets through today will play Inverness, Caledonian Thistle in the final. It's such a big game. Look, we're one of the first ones in here. We'll be sitting here in the media section today um, like we were last time. Callum McFadden, uh, one of the visually impaired commentators at Celtic. Yep. And Katie Shannon, one of the visually impaired commentators at Celtic. And I think we met the last time that I was here. That was obviously Celtic versus Rangers again. Are you ex expecting another victory over Rangers? You had a great record against them this year. It's always a hard game though, Sam. It's form gets out the window in these kind of games. and. Your heart says, of course, we're going to win, but your head says it's going to be a tough day. You just never know. Yeah, and what do you reckon, what players do you think is going to make the difference today for you? Hatati. 
I think Hitati will make the difference today. I think it'll be good to see if he gets back in the team. I don't know if the team's actually been announced yet. It's out, he's starting. It's out now, so yep. I think he'll be the big difference. I think Amazing. he will be the difference. And where can people find what you do then for the for the visually impaired? Where can they go and find out on? Uh, there, there was a feature re recently on the BBC um, from a view from the terrace, um, but normally it spans within the ground at Celtic Park or here whenever we're at Hamden yep. uh, that can access the service. So uh, broadcasting to the fans uh, regularly and the feedback's been really good, so we really enjoy doing it. Today, pretty much what you'd expect from Celtic, I'd say that is probably their um, their strongest lineup in a lot of ways. Maybe you could bring Moy in for one of the other midfielders, um, but Hatate is back in the team. Everyone's talking about him today. Um, he's been out for a few weeks. Jota, João Neves, Felipe. Um, but yeah, pretty strong team from Celtic. And then Rangers, Raskin starting today. He's been a big talking point um, in the midfield for Rangers. Morelos up front, Kent as well, one of the attacking players. Both of them out of contract soon. Uh, Campwell, one of the new signings. So. Yeah, I still feel like Rangers probably don't know their best starting eleven yet. I feel like Beal probably doesn't know sort of what his best eleven would be. Um, this is pretty close to it, I would say. Um, but I think Celtic are obviously a lot more settled under Postecoglou. subdued in this uh, second half as you can imagine. These Rangers fans over here thought they'd scored Sakala into the side netting but Tav hit the post just before it rebounded out to Sakala. Three substitutions for Celtic here and we get these um, little screens um, so we can see what's going on. The miss from um, Sakala just said pretty, pretty much an open goal. He's got to be putting that away and if you're missing chances like that you're never going to score.
people will recognise you, PLZ Soccer Adam. Good to see you again, okay, mate. Yeah, yeah, good to see you. Usually at McDermott Park, so yeah, I'm, uh, I know, but we're hoping to say. Yeah, we're hoping to this time. What have you thought of the game so far? Rangers have squandered a few chances, especially Sakala, right? It's been quiet for an, for an old fun derby. Usually a oh, chance, yeah. Ooh. It's, been, it's, been, it's been quiet for, for a derby match, usually. It's, it's ferocious, and it was for the first 10, but ultimately this game has been decided by a defensive calamity. Just before half time, we've got four Rangers players just completely switch off. Yeah, that's that's how that's how it's going. Rangers have been really disappointing at, at the other end of the park. And Celtic really have, have controlled the rest of the match. I feel like Celtic are getting to the second balls a lot more and just they seem a lot sharper. Yeah. Do you think that's down to the manager? Or? Oh, you know, there's that there old saying that, well, it's become a cliche, but we never stop. That's what that's what Angelo Scoggle always says. And you can see that he's managed to instill that belief in the players. Yeah. And, uh, and, and you're absolutely right, sir. Every, every second ball, they're always there. And you've seen that with the goal. Like, yeah, they're in front of the ball. Yeah. But uh, they're going to as well, then. Absolutely. Must have about a minute left, and as you can see, look, the Rangers section is beginning to clear out a little bit now. They've seen enough. Greg, well done. How would you sum that up in the end? Um, I thought first half we uh, had good control in the game, played our football, deserved lead. And then, as I just touched on previously there, there's these games too. The Rangers had the initiative to go and try and, or the incentive, sorry, to go and try and get the equaliser. And uh, it felt we were under quite a bit of pressure. And uh, but the defence, the whole team, in fact, um, held up well. and. These cup ties it's important just to get the win, and we did that. What does it say about Celtic's mentality then, especially in this fixture, that when they are tight games, you don't seem like losing just yet? I think uh, we've got such a strong mentality in all games, and that comes from we, we don't treat any game different. We, um, the next game's the most important, regardless of occasion, uh, and that's the, the philosophy that the managers brought in. We don't waste the training session, don't waste the game, so when it comes to these big ones, it certainly uh, helps. John, how do you sum that up in the end? Disappointing, yeah, of course, disappointing. Thought we played really well for large spells of the game, but just got to find that last bit of quality in the final third, I think, and then down the other end, the mistakes let us down again. How big a frustration is that? Because it seems like a familiar story. Yeah, it is, of course, it is. It's frustrating for everyone and going forward into next season now, we've really, really got to nail it down because. We can't, have, we can't have another season like this season. Is that just as much a mentality thing as what happens out in the field? Mentality, we, we all want to win. We, we all want to do the right things, of course we do, but decision making at times, it's, it's got to be better and it's, it's let us down. Not just today, it's let us down on numerous occasions. So you know, all the lads have got to, have got to rally round now and have a big, big push for, for, for the start of next season. What's been said in the dressing room? I'm going to keep that obviously internal, of course, but you know the lads aren't happy and we, we spoke amongst ourselves, but, but that's between us. Is there still so. a belief that you can beat Celtic? Yeah, there's a belief there. You see, and today there was a belief we, we, were, we were the better team for large, but large spells of the game. Um, we had one cleared off the line at the post, missed an open goal with Fash, so the belief's there. It's, it's just obviously fine margins and, and they're getting the fine margins better at the moment. Do you think you've done enough to win the game? 
Um, we didn't win the game, did we? So at the end of the day, we, we've got to finish them chances we we, we, we created. Um, we're getting in the right positions, it's just not, not falling for us. Does it feel like you're almost there? Because that's what four games in a row now where Rangers have played well for large spells, not quite got got there, but the next one it, it might just all click. Yeah, listen, it's just it's just frustrating at the minute, obviously it's still raw for me, but um yeah, going forward of course we, we, we need to start winning these these all fame games is no secret. So just really disappointed, but of course going into the next one, we hopefully then find margins what I've just spoke about, we can we can get them get them in our favour. How do you think the way we draw because it seems as if you did just kinda of collectively switch off for a few seconds? Yeah, no, Nick, it can't happen. It can't happen. The, the ball is still in play. The ref, the ref hasn't blown his whistle. We've, we've got it. We've got to play to the whistle. It's just it's our mistake again. Um, just disappointing. Yeah. Callum, well done. Another final. How do you sum today up? Yeah, great. Um, you know, great result. Um, Spells performance were really good, and then they showed the other side is um, in the second half. You know, really together, defended the box really well. Um, good team shape pressed at the right times and, and, and had to defend the box so you know overall a bit of everything in there um, and the most important thing in, in semi-final day is you get yourself to the final. How important is that in this fixture where you don't seem to be losing just now? Yeah it's, it's a mentality thing you know you, you have to you have to be ready for everything that, that happens in the game of course all week we've been talking about trying to dominate the game with the ball and, and impose our style which I thought we did you know for, for large spells of the first half um, but the game's always live, it's always changing, they change shape and then you know the, the momentum of the game swings and, and you have to get to grips with that. Um, and we had to defend a little bit more, defend the box a little bit more and, and a little bit deeper than what we would normally do. But you know the really pleasing thing as you see the togetherness is in this team. Um, boys putting their body on the line, Ali Johnson, uh, CCD, Carol, Greggy, you know, making big blocks at big times. And and that is the foundation for a good team. You have to be really strong defensively. Becoming a regular now from Tanadice to Hamden. Yeah. Um just summarise the game if you can. What did you think of today? Yeah, I thought I thought Rangers started the game pretty well. Um started probably more aggressive than they have done previous games. Towards the end of the second half, Celtic were in control, managed to get the goal. Rangers switched off uh, and Celtic scored a goal that they've scored. We've lost count the amount of times we've scored a ball at the back post. Uh, opposite winger getting in and scoring a goal. And I think second half Rangers, slight change of shape, change of personnel, started to look probably as if they were in more control, certainly with the ball. But Celtic, you have to say, defended brilliantly in yeah, because he's yeah. come into the box, they were there. Um, a different performance, I would say, from Celtic to what we're used to seeing. free throwing football, attacking football, uh, but defensively showed the resilience. Saw the game out, I didn't think they were in any trouble. Yeah. Uh, and any time Celtic broke, they looked dangerous going forward. And do you think it'll be a long summer now for Rangers and for Michael Beale especially? He made a lot of changes today. Whereas in the League Cup final here, I feel like he took his time over the changes, he tried to do it quickly. Do you think he realises the pressure that he's under now? Yeah, I think that he could see how the game was going. Certainly first half was, was not good enough, um, so I, I wasn't surprised with the change. And then as the game wears on, you're looking and saying, they're not carrying a, a real threat in behind, can they bring on a bit of pace? But it's going to be a long end to the season, never mind summer, they're not even anywhere near the summer yet. So yeah, I think it's maybe now a bit maybe trying stuff, just get to the end of the season uh, and make sure you don't lose any more ground. There's obviously a big game coming up in a few weeks yeah. against Celtic. Um, the league potentially could be won by then. Um, so yeah, it's a big summer for Rangers. There's a, there's a lot of work being done. And the final um, will be here between Celtic and Cali Thistle. Um, you were here yesterday for the other semi-final between yeah. them and Falkirk. Do you see any way in which Inverness can uh, get anything from that no, game? I don't. I think Celtic probably the team that Inverness wanted to avoid although I mean still Rangers were going heavy favourites had they managed to get the win but no, yeah. I think that it's going to be an extremely tough ask I know listen can't see those famous headlines no, from Inverness again I, no. I, I know I know it's happened before um, but this Celtic team are just a winning machine they yeah. just win games it'll be a great day for Inverness Cali and the fans but I don't see them being able to spring an, an upset and if, if they did it'd be one of the biggest upsets ever you can see how much Ange Postacoglu loved it today I'm sure you can find it on the via play um, channel his celebrations at the end um, I think they've uploaded a um, interview from him I've not seen it yet I've just been editing but um, yeah he was going round like 
like absolutely loving it, celebrating with the fans. And I've seen a lot of Celtic this year, and particularly in the away games, he'll sort of give a few little fist bumps like Jurgen Klopp usually does. Um, but today he just seemed different. He seemed on another level. I think that he win. He knows that he's like pretty much guaranteed a treble. I'd say like Inverness's chances were obviously very slim of beating um, Celtic. They've only lost one domestic game all season, I think. And um, you know, I, I don't think they're going to lose against Inverness, but could happen but I don't think it will but you can just see what it means to Postacob a, a, a treble come in basically um, to beat Rangers again I mean Michael Beale hasn't beaten Celtic yet I'm sure um, again I've not been able to check online or anything yet but I'm sure uh, the Rangers fans won't be happy with today uh, but the Celtic fans will be absolutely buzzing how mental was it behind me it's always so funny isn't it like seeing it absolutely crazy packed with fans all shouting the pyros and stuff and now when it's so quiet as well but um, yeah via play a huge thank you for sorting out today again I'll leave their YouTube channel down below. Yeah, they've been great with me today. I'm on my, like my fourth coffee already. Um, back into the media center to edit this bit onto the videos. All done except for the intro. I've just got to tack this onto the end, um, export it and upload it for you guys. So yeah, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe um, if you aren't already. Just check down there if you're not. Please do hit that button. It'd be great to see you around here a little bit more often. Thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>